how to pin your number on like a pro. Numbers aren't just used for racing. The majority of sportives or organised cycling events will also use them for each rider as a way of identifying them, both throughout the event and also, of course, as they cross the finish line. So, to prevent you from looking like a complete novice, here are GCN's tips on how to pin your number on correctly. Safety pins have long been and remain the most popular way of securing your number to your jersey. There are, however, some modern alternatives which we'll get onto a little bit later on. The number of pins that you have is crucial. Ideally, you want seven for each of the big numbers that you have to put on the back of your jersey. That's three for the top, two for the sides, and two to secure the bottom. That way it will be flush against the jersey and the air won't get in behind it so it becomes something resembling a parachute. This is my trusty jar of pins, which I used for 15 years throughout my career. So, let's get on to the technique now. Pull fabric of the jersey over your legs to stretch it. The alternative is to get someone to pin it on for you. But this can leave you in some slightly funny looking poses as you bend down to simulate your race position. Here's the important part when it comes to pinning technique. Each pin should go through the number, then through the fabric of the jersey, and then back out through the fabric and the number. This gives the number the most amount of stability. Don't pull the pin through the pocket fabric and the fabric inside. Each pin should go through the number, then through the fabric of the jersey, and then back out through the fabric and the number. Some people will use very strong tape to hold their numbers on, but there is a modern day alternative. Race dots are a recent invention to come over from the United States. They are small magnetic dots that you place on either side of the number and are surprisingly effective at securing the numbers in place. If you're looking for cycling how-to videos, well, we've got a whole host for you here at GCN. You see this one? If not, click here.